Okay, I'm out here working on my center console. Got some MDF. You can see I cut this piece to fit right here on the edge. I drilled and tapped two screws in the, in the metal console here. And here I've got a little bit of a bend on it here. A little block of wood holding it out right now until I get it all straightened up. But I went and cut this side. I had to trim it out here for the brake a little bit. Then I cut the other side to match. I'm going to put a uh, cover plate there of MDF on top of that. You can see this side. I cut it to match the other side, but I had to cut it out a little bit here in the middle to go over the console. There we go. So I'm getting ready to take this back out and put a a lid on this piece right here. Okay, now I've done quite a bit more work here on the console. You can see I've got my little cover plate here. This is made out of quarter inch MDF. It's on here, it's all glued and screwed together, so this thing is really tight on here. Uh, I went ahead and blocked this together. I'm still going to grind that off and make this a nice smooth transition. I came up here and I built the front of the, the opening. I had to do some work on the shifter at a buy a short shifter kit in order to put the shifter right here in the center of this hole and it works really good. It goes to all the gears. Uh, so that's basically cut and everything's fit pretty good on here. What I'm doing is I'm building the trying to build the forward part of the console. So I've got this block of wood here. I've given myself about an eighth of an inch gap all the way around here. So I built this little keystone piece to fit up in here. And now that that's all hooked on to this other piece, these two pieces will come together. This will be left with the front part of the console. This will be the back part of the console. I've cut some little aluminum strips here, or angle pieces. And I've figured out where they're going to go here on the floorboard on both sides over here. So I'm getting ready to take this whole floorboard out and silicone and rivet these pieces in place for the front part of the console. Okay, I've done quite a bit more work to the console here. I took this back out, cleaned it up, ground this down so it's all smooth. It's got some nice edges, all the screws are indented, so I'm going to fill those up later. But I've been working on the front half here. Last time I had my keystone block put inside here. Now this is, this is completely screwed and mounted to the keystone block, along with these screws here going through into the aluminum the little aluminum angle pieces that I put inside down in here the aluminum angle that holds the holds it on some of those little sheet metal nuts holding it in place so I put the aluminum there I also put the aluminum in the back on this back aluminum panel I put all that back together so now that's got screws in it all the way around. And uh, I've already got this piece all screwed in on the side. This piece, I've still got a few screws to put on it, but I'm trying to figure out another break point down here. I'm going to have to have a break point for the two pieces of console so that I can get it in and out. So I'm going to have to put a whole other keystone block and stuff on this side. But I feel I take it apart and work on it outside of the car.